obviously there's a lot of reasons as to why you just upped your uh, 12 month price target by 200 bucks to 3,800. We can get into those fundamentals first. Uh, I just want to start with your reaction to this transition of power uh, in the position of CEO. What do you make of it? Right. You know, Zach, this is an extremely consequential news. Um, you know, having uh, Jeff Bezos step back uh, from the day to day and, and Andy Jassy, who's very, very well regarded, essentially pioneer of the cloud infrastructure. Uh, so we're all kind of trying uh, to read the tea leaves, trying to figure out what this means for Amazon going forward. But it seems pretty clear to us that this is going to be a very seamless transition, right? Um, I mean, we knew that the handwriting was always on the wall that uh, sooner than later, uh, Jeff Bezos was going to take a step back. Uh, what, the, what we didn't anticipate was that it was going to happen uh, you know, uh, this soon, uh, even with all of the tech CEOs that, um, uh, that have all already been uh, showing the same, going in the same direction. Uh, but all in all, I think if you look at the, uh, the timing of it with the COVID-19 demand tailwinds and, and the company riding this huge secular growth, um, and also Amazon Web Services, I think now is going to be front and center. Um, you know, we estimate that division is going to become uh, even uh, more and more significant, more, more so uh, than it has ever been. Uh, so I think you see competition play now uh, among um, AWS and, and Google Cloud and Microsoft. So I think essentially, other than laying the groundwork of management succession with this announcement, I think really points to the uh, strategic importance and emphasis that the company is going to be um, you know, given to this business coming at a time when the whole business has come under regulatory, uh, you know, scrutiny uh, also signals that Andy just is going to be much yeah. more involved in that in that area. Do you know what do you think this means for AWS specifically? Andy Jassy, of course, the guy who built this into a cloud computing giant. You look at uh, where the revenue is; it's well over half the company. Um, who do you anticipate will step in? And does that change the direction for where you expect AWS to go? You know, they haven't signaled who's going to uh, take on, on this place, but I suspect that it's going to be, um, you know, from the uh, executive bench, which, as I said earlier, is going to be um, is quite deep. Um, they've made, they've already made that transition on the on the consumer e-commerce side, and it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, but as far as the uh, the business itself, I think it's really firing on all cylinders. Um, you know, you've got Amazon still firmly entrenched about a third of that cloud market share, although the other guys are breathing down uh, its neck. Uh, it's now uh, north of a fifty billion dollar business. We saw margin expansion continuing, uh, albeit uh, on a slower pace. All in all. Of the $1.7 trillion market cap of Amazon, we think that AWS is worth at least um, you know, half of that uh, or more potentially growing as we kind of look forward. So it's a very, very uh, attractive space with, uh, we would think, a lot of low hanging fruit still um, across the board, both in the US and international. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's time to buckle up here. The competition is going to get even more intense. I think Amazon is going to be uh, front and center. And remember, uh, you know, Jesse is not going to take his eyes off the ball simply because he's going to be running the entire company. So whoever steps in is going to essentially continue along that strategy of cutthroat competition, cost, um, you know, cost reduction and so on, innovation. And let's talk more about the results here too, uh, you know, and the numbers basis as to why you're boosting your price target by uh, 200 bucks here, about $500 worth of upside you still see ahead. Uh, what did you make of the quarter in terms of the beats we saw from Amazon and how maybe, you know, Jassy's going to be inheriting a situation where you already do have a company that seems to be uh, firing on all cylinders with what we've seen in this pandemic? Yeah, listen, um, Zach, I think Akiko couldn't have said it better. It was a blockbuster quarter, right? I mean, any way you cut it, um, I think there was a, a, a long list of positive takeaways, uh, acceleration in the underlying business with uh, margin expansion, uh, beating the top and bottom line, and providing a guidance that we think reinforces all of those um, you know, underlying trends. So um, to your question, I think um, the timing seems quite fortuitous to be making this change. Um, you know, More or less, I would argue the company is on some type of cruise control. Um, I mean, you would really have to be um, in, you know, it would take a lot to screw it up at this point. So I think as we kind of look forward, I think there's really more upside to the shares, uh, despite the uh, legitimate questions on valuation. Uh, we think all of those uh, secular trends and the stars are aligning, both on the e-commerce and the 
cloud space to uh, make us constructive. And now with this visibility of management succession kind of removes uh, one of the recurring questions that investors have had, what happens, uh, you know, who's going to succeed Jeff Bezos. And remember, Jeff is not all of a sudden uh, sailing into the sunset. He's going to pretty much be uh, involved in the bigger picture issues. And all of that provides additional comfort for investors. Uh, Tuna, if you look at the balance sheet, you may say the company is operating on cruise control, but of course there are a lot of headwinds the company faces on the regulation front, as well as the pushback they're facing from workers. Um, how significant do you see that risk being? In, in you know, we saw Jeff Bezos uh, testify last year remotely. Andy Jassy stepping into that position now. H how do you think he navigates the company? Uh, through a, a string of investigations that are already underway that hit at the core uh, of the company's business model. Indeed, and that's an area where we're going to be uh, closely keeping, a, keeping an eye on. And I would think that's actually an area where Jeff Bezos, ironically, um, did not care much to be involved about. So that's something definitely where Andy Jazzy is going to uh, need to get up to speed uh, very fast. Uh, uh, that being said, Akiko, I don't envision any earth shattering, uh, you know, regulatory, um, you know, uh, imposition that would kind of distort or disintegrate the thesis. Granted, there's going to be more regulation with the Democrats controlling the White House and, and the Congress. Uh, but um, I, I, I would think that some of the other big tech companies, frankly, uh, would have a lot more to, uh, to contend with. Um, you know, also, I think having Andy Jesse run the company can pretty much remove the possibility that there could ever be uh, a, a near-term or medium-term spin-off of the AWS unit anytime soon, as has been, yeah. uh, you know, uh, speculated. Uh, all of that kind of leads us to believe that um, the company, uh, the, the regulatory risk, uh, at worst, is manageable. 